Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Galen, and today we're going to be watching Ruby, Volume 8, Chapter 12, Creation. I remembered, I didn't have to look this time. So, yeah, um, just a lot of recap last episode, kind of settling where characters stand with each other. Um, this is the second to last episode of the volume. I believe Chapter 13 is going to be the last episode of the volume, so... This is the pre-finale, I don't know, what's the term for it? Penultimate episode? There we go. So, um, I actually don't have a lot to talk about this time. I say that often, but then I end up spending like five minutes talking about stuff. But I actually don't really have a lot to talk about. I just kind of want to hop into the video. The only thing really is that this is kind of coming out a little bit later is because on Tuesday I just goofed off and didn't record anything. I'm recording this on Thursday, which is my other day off, and my camera is still not... Uh, in the right position that I wanted it to be in. But, yeah, Tuesday I was just kind of goofing off and I didn't record anything. And then it's Thursday now and I don't know when this will be uncopyrighted, you know? So, it'll be interesting to do it. I'll try to get it out as soon as I can, but whatever. Um, it'll come out when it comes out. Just know that I recorded this on Thursday, the whatever day this is of January, March. March. <laughs> Um, day after St. Patrick's Day, the 17th, wait, what's today? Come on, okay, this I have to, 18th, this is the one I have to look up, all right, <laughs> don't, let's just start this, because I don't have anything else, not much has changed, and I don't think I have anything else I want to talk about for the last episode, so let's go. <laughs> Well, Grim is still attacking, and that thing's still decaying. <laughs> Compensating for something. Where's a uh, crow and I almost said winter. Um, I'm blanking on her name right now. Yep, that's crow for anything. Robin. Know what state Penny is in? If any of those brats had the nerve to come with her, we put them down immediately. The general gave his terms. No more games. <sighs> Is there a problem? Just retracing the steps that led us here. <sighs> what is it, sir? Crow and Robin. They're at the academy hangar. Trying to stop the payload. Or just looking for a way out. Not going to happen. I've been waiting to take my shot at those two. Let's go, Aesops. But someone needs to stay here with the general. I'll stay. We lose the payload, we lose our leverage. She's right. Contain it. Now. Mm. Sir, this course of action... I hope you're not going to try to talk me out of it. No, sir. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. I didn't think you'd actually come alone. I expected at least some resistance from your friends. I don't want anyone else to die. I must open the vault. Oh, that's a... He has his double pistols on that. I just realized what it was. You've done the right thing. I have. It feels weird. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feels weird. Hey. Winter. Uh oh. I always love that multiple jab move that he has. Uh oh, don't break the cane. Sorry, guys. But 
we don't want to fight. We didn't want to drop Atlas either. But we've all had to make some tough calls, huh? So where's Winter stand in all this? Go! Move to phase two! Guys! She has to go to the vault. That's actually a risk we haven't considered. We've been so worried about keeping the vault closed that we never considered using what's inside. The Staff of Creation. Maybe we could use it to save Penny and get everyone in Atlas and Mantle back to safety. Oh, I just realized Creation. Well, she'll never guess who I just heard from. <gasps> So, you're not arresting me? No. <laughs> that's got to be stopped. Then why did you hit me? Because you were about to get killed if I didn't do something. <clears throat> what are you doing? What I should have done ages ago. Getting in touch with my sister. We're going to need help. Speaking of help, <laughs> so we've got people trapped in Atlas and Mantle that we can't evacuate unless we use the staff, which is located inside the vault. If we open the vault, Penny terminates. If Ironwood gets wind of any of this, he blows up Mantle. There's something else to consider. Once the staff creates anything else, the city drops. Oof. Atlas has enough natural gravity dust to keep it from plummeting immediately, but... Well... Nobody's going to want to be around when it touches down. Okay, then let's use the staff to teleport everyone to safety. Maybe even to another kingdom. We can't just wave it like a magic wand and make our problems go away. And we haven't even told you about... him. Who? The spirit and the staff. Oh, okay, like Jim. But, well, he's a character. He can build you anything, but... Only if you can explain to him how. Like any craftsman, he'll need blueprints. Some sort of reference. It'll help if we have real-world examples to show him. I've already gone through the city layouts for the SDC evacuation. Maybe I can help. <laughs> There's still James and his bomb to consider. Oh, I've got a plan for that. So, that takes care of phase one. Meanwhile, the real Penny goes to the vault. With help. I blasted a hole through the bottom of Atlas, and I highly doubt they've had time for repairs. Oh, yeah. That should take you straight to it. All of that is the easy part. As soon as Penny opens the door, we go through, grab the staff, and stop her termination. Just hang in there, Penny. Okay? This feels like a bank heist, almost. Weird world is this gonna be? Oh, did they activate? Project, a floating city, <laughs> a pedestrian. <laughs> Hi, uh, Mr. Ambrosius, uh, sir. Listen, it's about our friend. She's, oh, okay. Hold up, I need to gone. rewind it a little bit. The name. Floating city, <laughs> a pedestrian. Hi, uh, Mr. Ambrosius, uh, sir. Ambrosius. Listen, it's about our friend. She's, she's dying. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know it's against the rules for me to bring people back from the dead, so... <laughs> That's not what we want. She's not your typical girl. <laughs> no, she isn't. I'd love to meet whoever did this. <laughs> ah, I see. There's something eating away at her. I'm, I'm guessing you think you have some clever plan to save her. Just know, 
I will give you exactly what you asked for, and I don't want any complaining when it's not what you wanted. We brought her schematics. We want you to make a new version of her, using her exact same robot parts. That was curiously worded, girl. An exact copy of her would include the virus. An exact copy of her without the virus would cease to exist the second you make something else. And we kind of want to keep her around longer than that. <laughs> You've done your homework. We want you to create a new version of her. Using her existing robotic parts. Taking the virus with them. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> if I take the robot parts out of her, that would leave... Penny, the girl who's always been there underneath it. Wait, are they going to create, like, an actual person, you not a robot? Destroy. It's against the rules. But you wouldn't be destroying her. Her soul is who she is. The mechanical parts are just... extra. But a soul without a complete body, what would be left? I don't know. I guess you just have to get creative. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could do a little. Oh, and a I love people that are just kind of like. Do that. How much of the old painting would be my work, and how much would be her? Just coming up to the surface. This is all very exciting and very dangerous. Uh, I don't know what the results are going to be. We don't have <laughs> any other options. We believe in her. Then ready yourselves to witness my artistry. <laughs> I like his character already. Just his personality is, like he said, interesting. It's done. <laughs> Goes I guess that's the signal then. Seems like things are moving forward in the vault. Hopefully Penny is going to be okay. If Atlas is moving, we need to get word out before people panic. And how many Hurry. things can he I know, do? I know. Okay. Right this there. should be um. That did uh something. You're live. Everyone can see you. Oh. <laughs> um, citizens of Atlas, Mantle. What we have to tell you is very important. Atlas is falling, but... Wait, what happened? It's dead. The entire CCT. It just went down. Oh, it did. Kingdom-wide communications. Cinder and wants to do something. The bigger question is, what do we do now? That boy said Atlas is falling. Is that true? Yes. We're using the staff to get everyone to safety. Salem can have the rubble. We'll all be long gone. Are you... Are you going to leave me here? Possibly. No. When we're finished, we'll move both of you to safety. Oh, Winter. Thank you. Oh, I... Don't thank me. It was Weiss's decision. I'm a real girl now. That must be horrifying to see. Ah, oh, that is disturbing. It's always that jerky motion for stuff. Are you okay? Evacuation. Ah, free to create and oh, it's you guys again. 
We're not done with you yet. Ugh, fine. Let's try the quick version. Can you make a bunch of doorways in Atlas that open at a single spot in vacuo? Sure. I'll just need coordinates and specs for each door and explanation for bending space and time to account for the much greater traffic on one side and the single point of exit on the other. Okay, that's about what we expected. <laughs> so, we need to funnel everybody through a central location first. You're going to have to tell me more about this central location for starters. Uh, where is it? Here. A place like these vaults. Wherever they are, they're not part of Remnant. Only accessible if you know the right way in. Seems like a safe enough place for thousands of refugees. You kids are either smarter or much more foolish than you realize. I'm going to need a reference. Oh, we've got one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um <laughs> It's uh, what's her face behind her, Nim? People enter from Atlas and Mantle on one side. And leave on the other side. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Well, now they're thinking in portals. You were quite thorough. Disappointingly so. <laughs> so, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any more uses he has, or? Oh, and one last point of clarification about this central location of yours. Do not fall. Okay, and with that dire warning... Oh, fall off of the, uh, bridge? We did it. What? Now? We go to Vacuo. Oh, that's a convenient way to get to Vacuo quickly. Hope that we've thought of everything. Probably not. Oh, are you gonna have a battle inside of that pathway? See, where's the name? Next page. No, where's Okay, behind which are tomorrow I'm looking for the name Ambrosius. Ambrosius. Is that like another name for Merlin, you could say? I I feel like I've seen it before. Penny's a real girl now! Yeah, immediately I was thinking, like, how is she going to fight and all that? No, oh, excuse me. How is she going to fight? Because she obviously can't control her swords anymore, so I guess dual wield swords and no more laser blasts, which I'm kind of disappointed in. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking back on the episode, and I like Emeralds is like, I'm glad you're doing the right thing. And she's like, I know, it's weird. And it turns into Emerald. So I guess Winter knew exactly what was going on because they shared the plan. Okay, a lot of stuff happening in that episode. Defeated Ironwood, um, stopped the bomb from being deployed. I'm wondering, does I'm pretty sure that Penny still has the maiden powers even after her robot body went away because um, it's connected to the soul, so I'm assuming that she still has the maiden powers. Um, so obviously she can use that to fight, but... Yeah, um, they didn't specify if there was any sort of limitations to how many times the Staff of Creation could be used. Um, like, because with Jin, you had three questions every hundred years or something like that. So I wonder how many creations can Ambrosis 
make in a span. I'm assuming in our 100 years, so that's already three, I suppose. I don't like his char- I like that character where um, it's always the people that like cut themselves off and they're like they they keep thinking and they cut themselves off of a thought to go to another thought, but then they interrupt themselves with another thought, but then they think of something else. So it's just like all over the place. I like those kind of characters in shows. It's just it's it's fun to watch them. <laughs> Probably not fun to be them. Well, of course that's me talking, me being me. So I'm not those people. This is getting kind of weird. Um, yeah, and also with the... Just everybody going to Vacuo is... Like, I, I think I said, it was another way of uh, them skipping a bunch of journey time. And also, I want to kind of... Uh, hmm, what are we going to be doing in Vacuo? Because it's gonna, they're going to be going to Vacuo because they're going to need the relic there. And then I said before, like, it's going to be full circle. Start in Vale, Mistral, Atlas, Evacuo, back to Vale again. But I wonder what's going to happen because it feels like not also, or also aside from the fact that they're, like, just leaving those places and there's a bunch of unfinished kind of plot points, it's like the villains are kind of dropping off, too. They're getting lower in number. Aside from Salem, but uh, eventually I feel like it's just going to be Salem and everybody else against her. And Cinder, I guess, is going to stay with Salem. She has no reason. Well, I shouldn't say no reason, but she doesn't have a good enough reason not to bail. Or good enough reason to bail. Um, like Emerald did, because Emerald was definitely not comfortable at all. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like Ironwood's surprise of like seeing Emerald, of all people helping them out and he's and like what he said with uh ambrosis or ambrosis said like this point don't fall off i'm assuming he's talking about the uh the bridges to the vacuo place so it's going to need to i'm assuming there's going to be some sort of battle in there and somebody's going to fall off that's not going to be place your bets now uh, who's going to fall off in any case, oh yeah, I can only assume that the signal got cut off because Watts did something. Um, I, I, I don't think it was because the staff got removed that everything started not working. Of course, it was only the columns, so I can only assume that it was Watts that did something. Yeah. Fun episode. Introduced the new Relic character. And Penny is now a real girl, so... Yay, Penny. <laughs> hug machine. <laughs> more! More hug, please! <laughs> She's not a machine anymore, so I can't even say that. <laughs> I wonder how her father's going to react to that. Um, Pietro, right, is the name? Um, oh, and they still need to pick up Maria, too. Pick up Maria and Pietro. Because they, the last time we saw them was several episodes ago, still on the arena. Yeah. Don't have anything else really to talk about. So this has been Orange Galen. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later for the finale of Ruby Volume 8.